Hello friends, so let's see this integration today. Uh, it's an integration which involves integral of sine to the power nx plus cos to the power nx whole raised to the power 1 by n. Uh, 0 to pi by 2 is the limit of integration and your n is a very very large number over here. So how do we solve this type of question? So uh, first of all, we need to look into this term. Let's call it as a. So let a be your sine to the power nx cos to the power nx whole raised to the power 1 by n where n is a very very large quantity okay so in this expression what i'm going to do i'm going to bring out a cos to the power nx common from the inside of the bracket so when i do so i'll end up getting cos x outside because of course cos to the power nx when it comes out under the influence of 1 by n th root it becomes cos of x and inside we'll end up getting tan to the power nx plus a 1 raised to the power 1 by n. All right. Now let us segregate this term out. So let's segregate the term limit of tan to the power nx plus 1 to the power of 1 by n out. Now, this is something which is actually uh, depending upon where is your x lying. So I'll break it. I'll break this into two cases. If your x lies in the interval 0 to pi by 4. So basically I have decided to take those values of x for which tan x value is lesser than 1. So if I take this interval, we know that tan of x value will be between 0 to 1. Right? That means it's a fraction. And if you raise a fraction to a very very large power, right, where n is a very 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 large number, such a term will start giving you a 0. In other words, this entire expression B becomes 0 plus 1 divided by 1 divided by a very large number that's close to 0. So this is definitely going to give you a 1, right? So what happens to the function? So my given function A or my given expression A becomes cos of x into 1, which is nothing but cos of x. Okay, well and good. Let's now move on to the second scenario. What will happen if your x is more than pi by 4 and lesser than pi by 2? That means it is between pi by 4 to pi by 2. Of course, in this interval, your tan of x will be lying in the interval 1 to infinity. Right? So in this case, what will happen? If I take a very large power on such a number, this quantity will start going towards infinity. So now, if I use my expression b, b will now become tan to the power nx plus 1 whole raised to the power 1 by n and your n is very very large number. So what will happen in this case, this quantity will definitely dominate this one, right? So 1 will be like insignificant in comparison to tan to the power nx because we have seen that tan to the power nx becomes a very large quantity. So overall, you can write b as if you are writing tan to the power nx whole raised to the power 1 by n and of course your n is a very large number here so that means your b becomes just a tan x okay so in light of that my a becomes nothing but cos of x into tan of x which is nothing but sine of x right so what have i done here i have redefined this function which function i have redefined this function depending upon my intervals of x. So I have redefined it in two ways. One is your cos x. And this is valid when your x lies in the interval 0 to pi by 4. And it is defined as sin x when x lies between pi by 4 to pi by 2. Okay. So this makes the integration super easy. So if I'm integrating this function it is as good as integrating cos x under the limit 0 to pi by 4 and sin x under the limit pi by 4 to pi by 2, right? And these are simple integrals to perform. Cos x integral is sin x. Limits of integration 0 to pi by 4. Sin x integral is negative of cos x from pi by 4 to pi by 2. So let's see how much this give. So sine x is 1 by root 2 and 0. 
and this is going to be minus 0 minus of minus 1 by root 2. So the answer to this question becomes 1 by root 2 plus 1 by root 2 and that's nothing but root 2. So the answer to this integral is root 2. Thank you so much for watching.